This video lecture explains about deadlock detection in distributed system. On the completion of the this video lecture, the students will be able to understand the approaches to detect the deadlocks and understand the concept of wait for graph and deadlock handling strategies and also the issues which are present in the deadlock detection. Next we go for the deadlock detection in di distributed systems. So deadlocks are the fundamental problem in distributed systems and deadlock detection in distributed systems has received considerable attention in the past. In distributed systems a process may request resources in any order which may not be known in prior and a process can request a resource while holding others. If the allocation uh, sequence of process resources is not controlled in such environments, so deadlocks can occur. A deadlock can be defined as a condition where a set of processes request resources that are held by other processes in the set. The deadlocks can be neither prevented, prevented and nor avoided. So only possibility is the de deadlock detection can be implemented. The deadlock can be uh, deal with the deal with using three strategies, which are deadlock prevention, deadlock avoidance, and deadlock detection. So deadlock detection requires an examination of the status of the process, resources, interaction for the presence of deadlock condition. In this lecture. We study several distributed deadlock detection techniques based on various strategies. So the techniques of uh, deadlock detection in the distributed system require the following which are progress and safety. Progress means the method should be able to detect all the deadlocks in the system and safety the method should not detect faults of Pandem deadlock. Pandem deadlock means false deadlock. There are three approaches to detect deadlocks in the distributed systems. First approach is centralized approach. Here there is only one responsible resource to detect deadlock. The advantage of this approach is that it is simple and easy to implement. While the drawbacks include Excessive workload at one node, single point of failure which in turn makes the system less reliable. Next approach is distributed approach. In this distributed approach, different nodes work together to detect deadlocks. No single point failure as workload is equally divided am among all the nodes. The speed of deadlock detection also increases. Next approach is hierarchical approach. This approach is most advantageous approach. It is the combination of both centralized and distributed approaches of deadlock detection in the distributed system. In this approach, some selected nodes or cluster of nodes are responsible for de uh, deadlock detection and these selected nodes are controlled by a single node. Next we see about the system model. A distributed program is composed of a set of n asynchronous processes which are indicated as P1, P2 up to Pn that communicates by passing messages over the communication network. Uh, without loss of generality, we assume that each process is running on a different processor. The processors do not share a common global memory and communicate solely by passing messages over the communication network. There is no physical clock, physical global clock in the system to which processes have instantaneous access. So the communication medium may deliver messages out of order. Messages may not be, may, may be lost or duplicated due to timeout and retransmission. So the processors may fail and communication links may go down. We have, we are, these are all the 
assumptions made in this uh, system model the first assumption is the systems have only reusable resources the processors are allowed to make only exclusive access to resources there is only one copy of each resource a process can be in two states the states are running or blocked the running state is otherwise uh, also called as active state that means in uh, in the running state a process has all the needed resources and is either executing or is ready for execution in the blocking state that is blocked state a process is waiting to occur some resource next we see about the wait for graph the purpose of wait for graph is used for deadlock detection so a graph is drawn based on the request and um, acquirement of the resource so if there is any cycle or a closed loop occurs then there is a deadlock in the distributed systems the state of the system can be modeled by directed graph which is called as wait for graph in wait for graph nodes are processors and there is a directed edge from one node to another node a system is deadlocked if an in uh, if and only if there is exist a direct cycle or uh, not in the wait for graph uh, consider this figure uh, that is which shows the wait for graph where process p11 of site 1 has an edge to process uh, 21 of site 1 and an edge to process p32 of site 2 process um, p32 of site 2 is waiting for a resource that is currently held by process p33 of site 3 at the same time process 21 at site 1 is waiting on process 24 at site 4 to release a resource and so on if process uh, p33 starts waiting on process p24 then processors in the wait for graph are involved in the deadlock depending uh, there is deadlock depending upon the request model next we see about the deadlock handling strategies handling of deadlock becomes highly complicated in distributed systems because no site has accurate knowledge of the current state of the system and because every inter site communication involves a finite and unpredictable delay these are the strategies deadlock prevention deadlock de avoidance and deadlock detection first one is deadlock prevention prevention means which is achieved either by having a process acquire all the needed resources simultaneously before it begins execution or by preempting a process which holds the needed resource so this approach is highly inefficient and impractical in distributed system next strategy is deadlock avoidance uh, deadlock avo in deadlock avoidance a resource is granted to a process if the resulting global system state is safe this is impractical in distributed systems third strategy is deadlock detection deadlock detection in distributed system seems to be the best approach to handle deadlock in the distributed system here we are facing two issues in deadlock detection deadlock uh, those are detection of existing deadlocks and resolution of de detected deadlocks first one is deadlock detection of existing deadlocks detection of uh, deadlocks involves addressing two issues which are named as maintenance of the wait for graph and another one is searching of the wait for graph for the presence of cycles or nodes in distributed systems a cycle or node may involve several sites the search of cycles greatly depends on how the wait for uh, system is represented across the system uh, depending upon the way of wait for graph information is maintained and the search for cycles carried out there are centralized distributed and hierarchical algorithms for deadlock detection in distributed systems 
a deadlock detection algorithm must satisfy the following two conditions progress and safety progress means one uh, no undetected deadlocks safety means no false deadlocks um, no undetected deadlock means the algorithm must detect all the existing deadlocks in finite time once a deadlock has occurred uh, the de 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 uh, deadlock detection activity should continuously progress until the deadlock is detected in other words after all the wait for dependencies for a deadlock have formed the algorithm should not wait for any more events to occur the occur to detect the deadlock next condition is safety in this uh, condition the algorithm should not report deadlocks which do not exist which is called as phantom deadlock or uh, false deadlock the algorithm should not report uh, the deadlock that do not exist in distributed systems where there is a no global memory and there is no global clock it is a difficult to de design the correct deadlock detection algorithm because uh, sites may obtain an out of state and inconsistent wait for graph of the system as a result sites may detect a cycle that never exist, existed uh, but whose different segments existed in the system at different times so this is the main reason why many deadlock detection algorithms reported in the lecture are incorrect second one is resolution of a de de detected deadlock uh, deadlock resolution involves breaking the existing wait for dependencies between the processes to resolve the deadlock which involves roll back one or more deadlock processes and assigning their resources to blocked processes so that they can resume execution the deadlock detection algorithms propagate information regarding wait for dependencies along the edges of the wait for graph when the wait for dependency is broken Uh, the corresponding information should be immediately cleaned from the system if this information is not cleaned in a timely manner it may be result in detection of phantom deadlock so these are the possible questions in this topic uh, the questions are identify the issues in deadlock detection define centralized approach distributed approach and hierarchical approach the uses of wait for graph and how to prevent the deadlock in the processes uh, what are the deadlock avoid uh, what is mean by deadlock avoidance and what are the strategies for handling the deadlock thank you